So the, perhaps a little bit of context um, on this video, but also what has happened after, because uh, it, this, uh, uh, the creators that, that made this, this AI video actually created a second part. So the context is that there are these uh, VFX, this um, vir virtual, I mean, visual effects people in Los Angeles, they're based in Los Angeles. And they're very much social media, millennials, sort of like late millennials, late 30s type, type of people, very, very social media aware. And they have been creating stuff um, on YouTube, putting out videos on YouTube, they they go viral quite a lot because the, their content is pretty pretty good. The the interesting thing is that these people already were placing themselves outside of the let's call it the copyright economy. They're creators; they're fantastic at what they do, but they don't work for Marvel. They don't work for Disney. They could be making lots of money working for those, uh, but they're making things for fun sometimes and. Um, they have a subscription model. So they don't care who copies their work. Um, they, people um, subscribe um, to, to their website. So uh, they have extras for the people who subscribe. It's, it's, it's a typical freemium model. You, know, you rely on subscriptions. You provide people with a little bit of a, an extra for, for your subscribers. And then after a while, you release it. It's the Patreon system. It's it, it it is it is a system. But this, the interesting thing is that this does not rely on copyright like the old industries. So they don't care. They actually, for them, uh, it's better if things get copied, get reproduced a lot, and get shared by everyone because the whole point is for them to get viral, so more people look at their videos, so um, more subscribers. So what happened was very interesting. They released this video. They made a fantastic. I, 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 it, it's, it's perhaps it's because I really I, I knew the references. Uh, I I used to be an anime. I still like anime quite a lot. But specifically the ones that they were referencing, uh, an anime called the Vampire Hunter D uh, from 1999, 2000, something like that. Uh, it has a very specific look. So they used this to train an AI in order to make an anime themselves. And the story is a, bit of, a little bit stupid, is people fighting using an, a, a rock, paper, scissors. It's preposterous, but that's the whole point. It went viral. Um, and uh, it went viral in two ways. Uh, in a bad way, some the people who are generally anti-AI say, this is dreadful, this is terrible, you're killing artists, you're, uh, you're killing creators, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, but also the general public just started liking it and, and, and creators on YouTube, other, on, on other social media, people saying, this is fantastic. This is really silly. This is funny. And apparently, this, this, um, despite the backlash, um, they made so many subscriptions from this that I, they actually made a second part. 